Welcome my fellow citizen. I'm currently in 3.24.2 and if you didn't know it will go probably today live. So this is what you have to know about 3.24.2 in total. Let's have fun citizens. So first thing that you have to know is there is a huge change in components. The components have now different classes, different power consumption, different rate in which they are destroyed that goes from coolers to quantum drives. Quantum drives also have some changes. Some are faster, some are slower. I will not go detail into it. We'll have to make a separate video on that. But what I want to focus today is the new settings that we have and a little bit more about MFDs. So before we go there, I want to first show you the new settings. Now, if you have set up your settings here before in 3.24.2 a lot of them will be again resetted so cig changed some names and yeah sadly we have to change it so here are my settings and the ones that i want to show you i will be scrolling this easily down and you can copy some of them and i will say which one are very important and why Here, the star map zoom speed. This will control how fast you scroll your star map. Star map has also some has some new changes, but we will not go deeply into it. From here, these options were changed. Well, they were before inside of the Star Citizen, but CIG added this crazy A pause option, fight options, I don't know why. So all you have to do is read the last part and you will know what this is about. So, auto precision, we leave it yes. Coupled, if you want the default on, leave it yes. If not, turn it no. Gravity compensation, make sure to turn this on. If you do not do this, then you will not be able to fly off. I had a problem in my hangar. For some reason, this was turned off and I couldn't fly off. And I spent hours trying to find solution and yeah this was it so if you can't fly off turn this to yes and you will have no problem g safe well you can turn this off or you can set it to key binds and then you can disable it when you want it or don't want it disabled by boost i always use this yes cruise mode you can turn this by accident in MF mfds and your ship will constantly fly forward even if it's not coupled so make sure to turn this to no space brake engage boost leave it to yes speed limiter enable now this is very important if you turn this to no then you will fly as much as you want so if you are nav mode you will fly to the tops of your speed but if you turn this to yes you will be limited to 400 meters per second then you have to press left alt and scroll with your mouse until you are able to reach the full speed and after every quantum drive you will have to do this so my warm suggestion is turn this to no extended info enabled you can turn this to yes now next settings if you want to have more performance when you are playing when you, if you want to be stable in a cockpit when you are doing dog fights and not uh, leaning forward left and right which will make you see your target less turn all of these settings as I did all the way to the left now the next thing that you have to know is this convergence distance now this was also before set to me at one kilometer but after the update it got reset 1005 is okay the next set of settings are also very cool magnified UI for this we will jump into a ship so I can show you you can put this to yes target rings will be bigger and these little lines above it are precision lines turn this to yes staggered fire that means every weapon shoots for itself and not together this can be very useful and this is better to put on a toggle but if you like it default always you can turn this to yes weapon lag pips when you turn it to no you are shooting at your crosshair but when you click to yes, you are shooting 
where the lag pipes are and not where the cross here is, if that makes sense. Single pipes, that will make all the rings together and you can fire at one place. This is very nice. Weapon fading pips, turn this to no. You don't want them to be fading, you want them always to be seen. Now the next set of settings is also very important to disable. Pilot look ahead, no. Pilot look ahead, enabled, no. So this will not allow your player to, in middle of fight, zoom too much in front and then you cannot see your MFDs, which is also very distracting when you're dogfighting. So here, turn all of these settings on the left side, as I did here. You can pause this and see it for yourself, but basically just pull them all the way to the left. Someone shooting at me, but never mind. Also this emission hood, display signature values, turn this to yes. What will this do is show you on the left MFD where the power management is on top, you will, it will show you signature values so you know from which position you can be detected. Right now from 18.6 kilometers for the arrow which is crazy. If you want to fly decoupled all you have to press is C and then you can fly continuously. So this is in my opinion better than uh, setting the decoupled defield always. What is that guy doing there? Don't attack me dude, I don't want to fight. Or maybe I do. That was nice. Why did he attack me with his MSR? Alright, now the next part of settings. Let's go to the options, key bindings, advanced control customization. Now the new set of settings that we have is vehicle multifunction displays. Here you can set up your shortcuts for controlling displays so you don't have to always go press F and do that. I don't like to do this, I prefer to use my F and then select whatever I want. But I can see what is the advantage of this. So if you want to do this, here is where you want to set up your displays. It's a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot of settings, but it's not kind of hard. I just don't like to use it. I don't want to have thousand controls remembered in my head. Now here is where you will have one to disable the G-safe on toggle flight movement and then go all the way down to G4 safety on off. I'm using slash to enable or disable G safe. You can also put the toggle for decoupled mode on the same button. So when you press it, you automatically change your ship to a dogfighting state. The next setting that you want to set up for yourself as a toggle is vehicle weapons, then go gunner UI magnif magnification toggle. And you can also put it one number that you want, let's say slash. So with one click of a button, everything changes. But I don't want to use this as a slash, I will put it as a zero, because I don't want it to be bigger when I'm dogfighting, I want it smaller, so I'm a little bit more precise. Now the next big set of changes are weapon preset, preset fire. Before you had a trigger one and trigger two, now you have weapon guns group. You can set up in your MFDs which one do you want to use. If you have a balance if between ballistic and laser guns, you will set weapon fires group 1 lasers and weapon fire group 2 ballistic and weapon fire group 3 all together. I do not look, like to use it. I always like to fire with everything that I have. So I only use weapon press fire 1. But you can set up here your groups. Defield you can change them with alt and mouse scrolling. Let me demonstrate. If you take a look on the right side down there, you will see my weapons group. Now you can fire everything. Now if I press left alt and scroll with mouse, now I'm only firing the lasers. And when I scroll again, I'm only firing my ballistics. And when I scroll again, it will come back as before. Also the big change is right now on the right side, Gunner magnification UI is right mouse. Look at this. So one tap will only zoom. And if you press and hold it, you can zoom all the way. 
and the last set of settings is flight power. There was a big change in how the power of the ship is functioning, there is no more triangle, now we have power distribution. So here there's a lot of settings and I didn't want to set up my own key bindings because I think the current ones are working fine as before. So the only change right now is one tap. Now it is by default set up as F5, F6, F7, F8. F5 is one tap goes to the weapons. Look at this. On the left, MFD. So if I one tap it, it will go to there. If I press left alt and F5, it will decrease it. So one tap F5 will increase it. Left alt and F5 will decrease it. Oh my god, these guys. So one tap F5 will increase your weapons. If you press alt and F5, it will remove one button. And if you press and hold F5, it will put all your power to weapons. Now F6. One tap will increase your engine power. Left alt and F6 will decrease. And if you hold F6, all power will go to engines. F7 is shields. One tap will increase shield. Alt F7 will decrease shield. If you hold it, all power to shield. And F8 will reset everything. Even if it looks that there's a big change in the triangle system, it isn't. The only addition right now is that in MFDs you can, you also have coolers, radar and life support. So this will be only needed to set up once I remove one line from life support and I add it here to the coolers. That's it. And then I only play with my weapons engines and shield right now i have a good balance between everything this will be as before in the middle so if i want to increase more power there it is cool so these are the most important changes that i can remember right now if i miss something write me down in comments what are your best modifications that you have done for this 3.24.2 are you excited that it's coming to life write me down in the comments thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe like and share and until next video have fun out there citizens